Hey YouTube, Track Knowledge is here. I finally received my Freedom Pop phone through the mail, which took about 15 to 16 days. And any of you familiar with the offering from Freedom Pop, the initial offering, you were supposed to receive it within five to seven business days. But if you've been doing your homework, you do realize that they have been back ordered. So I got mine within 15 to 16 days. And I would say over the last two or three days since I've been using it, it's been working extremely well. I went out for the first time. I work from home, so I am in the house frequently. But I left the house yesterday for about three or four hours, and service was great in my area. I'm in the greater Philadelphia area um, in Delaware, but I'm roughly about 20 miles away from Philly. So the city I'm in, we do have 4G here, but it, the, the coverage isn't great. So when it's not on 4G, it, it flips over to 3G. And at one point... Once it flipped over to 3G, once I got back home, it didn't go back to 4G. And I do get 4G service at home. Let me see if it's on 4G now. Well, it's not connected to 4G now because I'm on Wi-Fi. But if I were to go outside out of the range of my Wi-Fi at home, it, it immediately goes to 4G. So um, the way the phone operates is great. I know it's not a dual-core processor, but outside of that... Is really smooth and I own the first HTC Evo and I would say the operation is a little better than that but this phone has been refurbished as I mentioned earlier so there are some quirks in the way some things work but overall it's extremely smooth it gets the job done um, when I send texts people are receiving my text right away when they send them back to me I receive them right away the only problem I have specifically with this phone, and I'm sure you've heard others mention this, is the call quality. For me, there's no happy medium. When I turn it down, it isn't clear and intelligible. But then when I turn it up, even just at a comfortable level where, where I would be comfortable listening to it, the vocals sound extremely too loud or, and over compressed. Um, the vocals sound like they're overpowering the phone. I don't want to use too many engineering terms. But anyway... The vocals just sound way too loud. And even on speakerphone, there's no real happy medium. But, uh, I'm happy so far. And I mean, how can you complain? The plan I have, I have the 1099 plan, which is unlimited. Wow, they have a laser. Razor. That's pretty hot. Maybe I'll make another video about that. Sorry, I got distracted. So, basically... Back to the plan I have. The plan I have, the laser razors by Philips. We'll talk about this later. The plan I have is 1099, and that plan includes unlimited text and unlimited voice. And yes, you heard that right, $10.99. It also includes 500 megabytes of data. Now, if you're a heavy data user, especially if you... I, I work from home, so I'm using wi-fi all the time I, I don't need tons of data and when i'm out i don't like having my, my cell phone in my hand or my smart device whatever i don't like having my device in my hand and i do have certain games on here if i do feel the need to pick up my phone if i need to but anyway if you need to you can upgrade the data plan and i believe they're in one two and four gigabyte increments and i believe the first upgrade is about $9.99. So, if you want about one and a half gigs of data and you want the unlimited voice, that's going to be roughly $20. And uh, they charge $1.99 for the voicemail. There's some other little small charges here and there that you can get with the phone. There's a, a data protection, not that, uh, equipment protection. Plan. I don't think they offer for the phones, but I believe they will soon. The plan below the plan I have is $7.99, and that's 500 minutes and 500 texts with 500 gigs of data. And then the lowest plan, which is free, is 200 minutes and I believe 500 texts. So you're allowed to switch the plan whenever you want. Which is why I really enjoy this phone. Because I still use my home phone frequently. And I also use Google Voice. So I can bounce around my phone calls to whatever you want. Oh, and this is also compatible with Google Voice. I installed Google Voice. 
and I have Google Voice forwarding my phone calls to my HTC Freedom Pop phone. So if I ever needed to, of course I can just have my phone numbers go back to the home phone if I ever decide to bump down the plan, but I don't think that should be an issue. So that's my little quick review on the HTC. Well, not the HTC, but Freedom Pop's phone. The Freedom Pop service available through the HTC. If you guys have any questions, just hit me up below. If you like the information I provided, give me a thumbs up. And I'll be back soon to give you guys a little longer review of how the phone has been working for me. Talk to you soon. Peace.